This is the story of a girl who lived in a city full of tall buildings. She spent most of her summer at her grandmother's house. But she has no idea that this summer could be different from the previous ones. This is Abby and her grandmother's treehouse. It is so big. This is going to be the most magical summer ever. You can explore tomorrow after a good night's sleep. Abby woke up the next day. She discovered something. You have so many beautiful flowers. Thank you, Abby. Let me show you peonies, zinnias, and lavender. Oh, and I have apple trees too. Bees were all over her before she even knew it. Please don't worry, Abby. Bees do not want to harm you. Abby wondered, how can bees do all that? The next day, Abby visits her summer friend named Michelle. Michelle's grandma Laura also had a huge garden. Abby wondered if her friend Michelle was also afraid of bees. Hi Michelle, I am so happy to see you. Abby and Michelle went to grandma Laura's garden to explore. Abby closed her eyes and breathed on all the perfumes. But then Abby heard buzzing and look around for the source. Abby, don't be afraid of the bees. Look how busy they are. The story will not end here. It created a lot of questions in Abby's mind. Do bees have a job? What is their job? How can they help the environment? Why do they give so much importance to them? Let's join Abby as she learns, discovers, and gives so much importance to the bees. Purchase this book via Amazon, Barnes & Noble.